Joyce here with the Traveling Gamblers, and I am here with John. Hello, John. Hello, Joyce. And today is day five of eight days on the Queen Mary 2. So where we left off yesterday, we woke up at 9 a.m. because we had a phone call from room service, which we ordered the night before. Yeah. Um, we the also... Little, the little hang tag thing that you yeah. put on the doorknob. We also uh, gained an extra hour of sleep, which it put did. us three hours ahead of Eastern Standard Time. So we're slowly catching up. Well, the East Coast is slowly catching up, or we're slowly yeah. going back in time. Right. <laughs> and I wasn't too crazy about the breakfast. How about you? I ordered cream of wheat and an omelet. And instead of cream of wheat, I got oatmeal. And I'm wondering why they have cream of wheat on the menu. Because the other day in the Princess Grill dining room, I ordered cream of wheat for breakfast and they told me they didn't have any. And yesterday I ordered cream of wheat for breakfast because it was on the menu and they sent me oatmeal. And the oatmeal was very watery, very, very watery. It didn't seem like oatmeal at all. I was quite unsure as to what it was, so that was no good. Which is strange, because I had oatmeal, and it was the regular consistency. So I'm not sure what they gave you. <laughs> no, it was weird. It was yeah, it yeah, was yeah. definitely oatmeal, but it was extremely watery. And I had a ham and cheese omelet, and that was delicious. It was one of the best omelets I've ever had. I don't know what kind of cheese it was, but it was incredibly flavorful and I really enjoyed it. It was nice and hot. We mentioned before the room service food, all the food is always delivered, served very hot. It's mm -hmm. very nice. Yeah. So I enjoyed the room service and the coffee was way better. It was the first time we had it, it was very thin and weak. And this time it was correct strength. Correct. It was good. After breakfast, we got ready and then we did the daily video and walked around the ship for a little while after that. We did, we explored a little. Right. And then we wanted to do the fish and chips again. So we went to the Golden, Golden Lion, which is the pub, and we got there about 12.30, thinking this time we'll go a little earlier. And it was packed, not one single seat to be had. And most of the people didn't have food in front of them yet, so you knew they were still waiting for their food. So instead, we went to the Princess Grill for lunch. We did, yeah. and it was very good. Yeah. I ordered the salad and the sandwich. And what did you get? I ordered the Asian spicy dumplings. Mm. For John's salad and sandwich, on the menu, it said salad and sandwich of the day. So I think that's a standard that they have every day for lunch and it's a different salad than sandwich. And after lunch, we went over to the Corinthia Lounge mm -hmm. and we got there just in time for trivia. And this is the first trivia that we actually truly participated in. The subject was riddles and we did really well. Mm -hmm. Out of 20, we got 15. Our friend Nancy, Nancy would have been proud of us, I think. One of the riddles that I thought was clever. And if you guys would like to play along, I'm going to tell you what the riddle is. And you can answer in the comments below. Don't cheat. Because cheating doesn't ever get you anywhere. <laughs> so, if you want to try, don't look at the comments and see what other people wrote. Okay, here's the riddle. With the following letters, spell just one word. O, O, U, N, W, T, R, D, S, J, E. One more time. O, O, U, N W T R D S J E. We really actually participated. We wrote down our answers and exchanged our papers with someone else. So that was a lot of fun. And we did a tremendous amount of editing yesterday. We got a lot of work done 
And we worked there until about 5.30 in the afternoon or evening. And we went back to the cabin. Then we got ready for dinner. We did. And we went to the Princess Grill for dinner. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I had a honey glazed chicken and it was so good. It was very good. Yeah. All the meals have been really good. I had the rack of lamb. That was really good also. <laughs> I'm impressed with the food for sure. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I'm impressed with the ship. Everything. Yes. After we had dinner, we went to the casino and we just played like $150 each. Yeah. We did so a little we, less than we normally would, yeah. but that $150 lasted it for did. a really long it time. Did. We played for a couple hours. Yes. And after the casino, we came back to our cabin and we heard the foghorn. Mm -hmm. And I, I heard somebody mention it at dinner about the foghorn. The captain every day comes on and talks for about five minutes or so and kind of goes over what the weather's going to be like and what the sea conditions are like. And he mentioned maybe two days ago that when we were nearing Canada, we were going to run into some fog. There was a forecast of fog. Well, the fog arrived early and it arrived yesterday afternoon. I've never seen such fog. I did a quick video off of our balcony yesterday, late afternoon, and it just got worse as the night went on. And it is still so incredibly foggy out that you really can't see maybe a hundred, couple hundred feet past the railing of the ship. It, it looks like snow. It's just solid, pure white. It's incredibly dense. So the foghorn went off all night. It wasn't loud enough to wake us up, but occasionally you would just hear it. So it wasn't super, super loud. It was more of a distance thing. And it's been going off pretty consistently since last evening when we came back to our cabin to get ready for bed. That brings us to this morning. Mm -hmm. And here we are. And we will tell you about today, tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate your support. We hope you're enjoying this daily video of the Queen Mary 2. It's definitely a different experience. And we are very much enjoying it. And as always, we hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye, Nellie. Goodbye, Nellie.